on guys that are in a phone. So how do you page people if there's a phone? You can't. I mean, pages don't work without a phone. Um, uh, and, and there was this uh, absence of technology. And I remember being in the hotel that night thinking, what I, what do I do? And then I thought to myself, well, what am I doing? Why am I concluding this? Uh, I'm, I'm just a visitor. I just arrived here for my very first time in China. I don't know anything. So I decided to engage the local people and ask them questions about, I mean, here's what a picture looks. You know, how do you feel about it? Anyway? And I was amazed by the enthusiasm that the people that lived in China showed for this technology back in the day. It was called Pigeon. And uh, this was before cell phones and all that kind of stuff. And uh, so we decided to take a risk. And we began to market pagers in China. One of the things that came out, those of you who are old enough to remember pagers, uh, there was a pager called Advisor. He's very famous, made a lot of money from Motorola back in those days. And it was a very large screen alphanumeric pager, which means you could send messages on, on that device. And one of the Chinese students there had an idea of how to make, make it possible for this to receive Chinese characters. Now, most American engineers would never think of how you could send a Chinese character over the airways because your typewriters don't have Chinese characters. Your, um, so there was a, a, an interesting discussion, and we learned from them very quickly that it, how, how relatively simple it would be to actually uh, orient some of the ROM codes in the technology in this product so you could create a Chinese character display picture. So we did that. It was the hottest selling treasure in the history of the company. We made more money for AMD for Motorola than any product at that point in time in the history of the company. It was incredible. I'll tell you how hot this thing became. I, I shared this story one time with a couple of lawyers who had, I knew I shared with somebody in case something happened to me. But, but uh, I got a call from a person. I'm not going to mention the names there, but somebody said to me, Director, if you make sure that I get the next 300,000 pages that I get, it goes to shortage of product, said, I will deposit $10 million in a Swiss account, and you're done. <laughs> now, this is serious. It was absolutely serious. Because these things were so hot that we came such a demand for that. And then when you walk down the streets in China and see how people were using them, those people who had a line phone would set up a line phone outside their home or their business on a little table and a little chair with a little sign that says, you know, for X amount of money, you can page somebody. And the lines of people that would line up to page other people by paying this small amount of money was incredible. So you sat there watching this thing and you said, no way in the world we would have ever thought of that <laughs> sitting in Chicago or Austin, Texas or someplace like that. And the way they were using this thing was incredible. It was for trade, for commerce. You would have somebody on the